why? Why would people decide to do this? Whoever enjoys slowly killing themselves is crazy. If I try tobacco, will I get addicted? When my younger brother was born, as he as he was like growing up, like he he had asthma, and like the doctors told us like, oh, like do you guys smoke? And they're like, yeah, we smoke. We're like, well, that's the reason he has like asthma. He has, he's having uh, problems breathing. They saw how it was affecting their child, like my little brother. They saw how it was like messing him up, like in the lungs. Most of my family members they smoke, and when I ask them about it, they say it's mostly because of stress, and they don't like to do it. They really don't. They always talk about they want to quit, but they can't. After a while, it just becomes an impulse. They just pull an ounce or smoking it. doesn't matter if they're stressed or not. Um, I don't think that people enjoy it at all. I know they don't enjoy it. People say to like, oh, that's not going to happen to me. That's not me. Uh, I, like, I could stop or it's not going to get that bad. But like, once they see that it, it can happen to them, if not affect somebody else that they live with, someone they love, that's when it really hits them, like, whoa, like, this is serious, I need to stop. What is the most harmful thing that can tobacco do to you, your body? Cancer, uh, lose body parts, or oh, internal organs, and it, like, it leaves them rotting, basically, inside and outside. Yeah. I know this lady that always passes by our house, and she's like, she smokes every day. She started to, she has like black spots all over her body, and her teeth are like falling out and she, I don't know, uh, when she passes by you can like smell her. Mm -hmm. She smells like cigarettes and yeah. What are e-cigs? How do they work? I've actually tried the, uh, the e-cig and I don't like, I don't, I don't remember quite what, what happened, but like, I don't know if it was like it like took like a good like three puffs or something, but I remember being kind of like nauseous. How can you help people quit smoking? To me, I think it's independent, like, what stage they're in. If they're, they've done it for a long time, it makes it harder for them to stop. They did a class on drugs where it's all like, here's what happens if you, like, snort crack. But for kids, I feel like they just need to find a way to, like, better express themselves. Like, you shouldn't take drugs here. You can play, like, sports or yeah. draw or do something. Like, school should offer them an idea of what to do for their free time. But it's true, some people don't have the time to do it. Like, I have time to go running or go exercising, but some people don't. And maybe they can substitute, like, uh, smoking with, like, something else, like maybe chewing a pack of gum. Like, maybe <coughs> they, maybe they can do that as some, Ooh. that way it keeps them occupied, thinking it's nicotine or nicotine patches. Or nicotine gum, I think that also exists, so maybe yeah. they can just do that. That way you still have the nicotine, but your, your mind is thinking about something else. So I feel like maybe you can do that as well. That way it doesn't take a lot of time out of your schedule. Wouldn't that like cause like gum disease though? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Wouldn't smoking cause the same thing too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in the like, perfect way to get like teens to stop doing drugs in general, if you would show them like how it would affect them physically. All of us are vain, we're all conceited, like we want to look good. Yeah. And if we show them what drug like what drugs will do to your body like in the outside. Like, whoa, like, I'm not trying to look like that. I'm trying to look good. Yeah, like, you know, like, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to go to dance and, like, be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Third grade. They haven't stopped.